Good evening or good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. God bless you all. Today is Saturday, August 13th, 2022. The time now is 3.42 p.m. afternoon time here in the beauty room. So God bless you all. Happy Saturday and welcome back to another video. We're going to do a video of a, a new palette that I got a, um, like a few months ago. This is called the Bella Forever Palette and it has, I want to say, 16 um, eye color shadows in here. So this is a very pretty color palette that I wanted to choose for myself in my makeup palette collection. So I already did my face already and my eyebrows um, before I got on camera and did a filming of the video. So this is a 16 color pigmented um, eyeshadow palette. This palette is definitely from www.shopcherry.com. I'll leave it in the description box below so you can definitely go onto that site. Definitely get it and it has a tag on it for $10.99. So definitely check out this palette and try to remember this so you can put it into your eyeshadow makeup collection. Or if you're not really familiar with Bella Forever, they have it also on to another website. It is called... Um, beauty creations as well so i'll leave that in the description box below also so we're going to get started into this palette since so i already did my face already and yes i'm telling you these colors are just beyond beauty beautiful excuse me the color story is very pretty to me it has a mirror with it and as you've seen it and then look at these pretty colors it comes also with a protector plastic where you can when you're done with using these these shades you can definitely put this back on you know back into your palette whenever you're done and if you definitely got out of beauty school or cosmetology school you definitely take this palette with you for your clients or new clients or if you have like a wedding party or if you have a bridal like a bridal party and she wants to, you know she wants you to be her makeup artist this will be a definitely good palette for a for the bride to be you know this will be very pretty and this will be very pretty too for the, for the bridal party if they want to still want to stick with you so yes this is a very this is a very nice palette so it's about $10.99 and I believe it's either $10.99 or $12.99 but definitely check out this palette from www.shopcherry c I'm, I'm sorry s h o p c h e r r i e dot com definitely check out www beauty creations b e a u t y c r e a t i o n s dot com also as well for this palette it's very very pretty so we're going to get right started into the palette and the first transition transition say i'm going to use it is called classic right here at the bottom we're going to do a swatch before I try it on my eyelid and this is probably can maybe you can probably see onto there so that's the swatch that I use and this is that's called classic too so I think that's a very good shade you know for if you're in my skin tone or if you are darker than me or lighter than me or any skin or, or any skin tone type that you are this will be a very good pretty shade for your transition shade or you can use another palette from a different palette and get like a lighter shade. So you always want to go, when you go for a transition shade, and what that means is for a transition shade in an eyeshadow palette, you just go for a shade lighter to your eyelids after when you're done doing your eyebrows and, you, and you, your eyebrows and your concealer cannot talk right. So definitely use a lighter concealer or you can use a eyeshadow primer, but lately now i've been changing up the game a little bit for my um for my lids my eyelids i use a lighter concealer for my eyelids so and then these are the makeup brushes that i normally use and this container is from um target it was five dollars so definitely check out your target from that um, one spot you know uh one dollar and more you know one spot that's what i usually call it back then when I used to uh, work at Target um, but yeah definitely check out that container because they may have different containers now which you seen in my last video that I did 
Um, I shopped at Target and they had different containers. So if you want to try to organize your beauty room or your office, definitely check out that one spot when you walk into Target. It's between three to five dollars, maybe seven dollars, and maybe ten dollars. So definitely check out that Target for their one spot things or check out five below also as well. If you want to organize some of your makeup, some of your pens, pencils for your office or your kids room or your room and your husband's room so yeah definitely check them out so let's get right started into the video but i just wanted to let you know about the brushes that i use that's on this side of me the left side of me so and also i'll tell you I, before the end of, end of the video as well what i use to clean my makeup brushes so i will tell you all about that and let's get started so i'm going to use a brush like this. this is just like a flat fluffy brush so and this is from sheen the website sheen the website you can and it comes with between 10 to 15 brush sets which is not bad and then this is from you know from also sheen sheen as well between 10 to 12 brushes for under ten dollars and under ten dollars as well i like the purple because it has like a sparkly color so we're going to use these two brushes today for my eyelids so this is the first brush that we're going to use and go into that classic um shade comes off very very well the pigmentation so, and you want to always take your mirror too you know what? i'm going to use my other mirror that's okay <laughs> So we're going to use this mirror here so you can see me okay so it's going to use this mirror for um for i can see what i'm doing so you can use it like a hand mirror or a or like a handheld mirror so you can definitely use that and what i do is i just start from here like right here and then i just work my way in so this about like right here and then you want to just go right right here looks really good and I need a couple of you know um, a couple of going back and forth so you always want to also to shake what you have on access if you have extra um, eyeshadow to your brush you definitely want to just tap it off like that and keep going so it's gonna just I'm gonna look right here where you can see what I'm doing and I haven't um, what am I, haven't thought of a thought of the way I'm gonna call this video I'm really not for sure, so I'm just gonna just continue on with the video. This is a very, very pretty shade. So what I like to do is I like to start with a like with a lighter to a medium shade above my crease. That's just me. But if you want to start with a darker shade, if you're lighter than me, and then go in with a smaller brush, like a round brush like this, and put your darker shade like right here like right above like right here and then work your way with a lighter shade like right you just pat it in like that you can do that also as well and then when you get to your darker shade you know you can put it like right here and then blend it in and put it right here in the inner corner and then do do like a halo that'd be pretty as well so we're going to probably end up doing that or probably just go in with a darker shade and just continue to go on like that so next I'm going to go in with a pink, and this is called Vern Vern Vernera. Oh my, I'm not saying it. It's N E M says the N V U L N E R A B L E. I cannot talk today, so please excuse me. Just got off work, and I'm just literally out of a bone tired today. But we're gonna go in with these two shades right here. This is called I think it's called Vulnerable. Ha! Ah, I said it right. Okay, so vulnerable and then this is violet so then we're going to go in with a purplish type of sh um shimmer so i'm gonna let you see how this one is called vulnerable so this is it right here that's very pretty so we're going to put that right here you know you continue to use the same brush then if you want to use a smaller brush you can shake off the excess and then put it right here
that's very pretty a little more closer to you can see so you also want to go in you know to get a more pigmentation onto your brush so what you can do is just go like this see that pigmentation onto your brush just go in like that That, see, I can see the pigmentation on it like right now that's super pretty very very pretty so then I just go in like that and then I mix it in and I just work with my lid I don't go over my eyelid I just work with my lid so that way I can get more of that pigmentation on it as well I just go in like in circles or like like window window wheel shut wiper mo motion but whatever you want to do is comfortable for you you can hold your brush like this or to get more pigmentation hold it like this so that way you can get more of the pigmentation onto your the shadow onto your eyelid but you do what's best for you and comfortable for you so that's just what I learned you know throughout the years of um, wearing makeup and eyeshadow because when I was younger I wasn't really uh, growing up a young lady you know wearing a lot of makeup like now these days so so and that is it so then we're going to go into another color but I'm going to use the same color that I can work with this eyelid so that way this we already said, but I like to do one eyelid at a time. So we're going to go into a, we're going to use a different brush. And this brush is also from Mange. This is the eye crease brush number eight. So we're going to use this brush for that other shade. It's called Violet. V-I-O-L-E-T. And then you're going to put that much first just to get its precise. And then there's sometimes I'll dust it off and then sometimes I won't. So, oh, this is very, very pretty. Oh, wow. So then you also, if you have a crease, you can definitely make sure that you put both colors in like that. Just to get them in. That way you won't have like a line. But see, you can't really see what colors I'm using because I have hooded eyes. So, I just be very, very careful at what I do for my eyelids. So, just like that. Very pretty. So, we're going to go continue on to now using a really pretty shimmer that I really want to use. It's called Fabulous. And it F-A-B-U-L-O-U-S. And then we're going to put it like, we're going to put like another shade like right here. So we're gonna go in with that now. So the, I want to try to see what color this is. It's not like it's a purple, but like a pink of shade. Can you see that? Yeah. And if you see a little bit more, you probably didn't see it all the way. It probably wasn't a good swatch. There you go. Yes. We're gonna use that color. I I just love um, playing in different eyeshadow palettes because. I like to see what kind of looks I can create or try to create. You know, I'm not the best, but I will definitely try. I love to just, you know, get myself out of the comfort zone of using, like, you know, the nude brownish type of colors. I like to get myself some kind of color. And this is very, very pretty. As you can see, just that color is just pop popping, like, out really, really pretty. I really do like it. So I'm going to take more of that um, violet color that I used I bring it out a little bit more so yeah see okay so we're done with this eye we're gonna go into this eye next. So we're gonna go into that vulnerable 
color. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go and see that classic, sorry. Classic. Get them out. Tap. And then just go like right here. And then bring it in by just going windshield wiper motions. Or just do what's comfortable and best for you. And before I started the video, I should have said, make sure you grab yourself a delicious snack and something to drink. Sit back and relax. Take notes if you want, so that way, if you want to get this palette at shopcherry.com, definitely get it. Or check out the www.beautycreations.com or check out Bella Forever um, um, eyeshadow palette. It's a 16 color eyeshadow palette. And I think it's pretty good with using that brown, that classic brown. Use it a little bit more just to get that out a little bit more. And then also too, you can also add like a lighter shade underneath your eyebrows to just have a guide there. You can definitely use the Elf um, eye eyeshadow um, stri um, stripes, not stripes, but um, strips. I'm sorry, strips. Cut that in half. And put one here and then put one here so that we can definitely get that type of precise you know look that you want look and also uh, it won't be all around here or like a circle or like a really good V type of V like that like that when you use those elf strips cut it in half like I said cut it in half put one on your left and put one on your right eyelid and you get a really good guide if you want to do that for your beginner in makeup like how I like I you know I'm still am you know I'm still learning because every day I learn everything new every single day that I you know apply a eyeshadow like a new eyeshadow palette to me you know that's what I do I love to learn because learning is a very good thing to do but that way you know if you make a mistake too also as well because I do you can definitely make sure that you can wipe it all off again and start all over. And it doesn't take your time too when you apply your makeup, especially like your eyeshadows. So it'll definitely go with your look, a look that you're trying to go for. It'll be super pretty. Just take your time. Like I said, if you do tend to mess up, you can always start over. Okay, so I am. Um, Basically done with this right here. Looking good. This looks super pretty. You definitely have to get this palette so you can know what I'm talking about. But this palette is very pretty. It is gorgeous. I highly recommend it. And it's also under like $20. So I definitely highly recommend that you get this palette. Try it out for yourself. If you don't believe me. So this is very very pretty okay so that is done so I'm going to use that fabulous and just I just use my fingertip my think my finger sorry not fingertip I just use my finger just to get it on very very pretty I'll take on that darker purple well, not dark purple, but like purple, like violet. I'll put it like right here. Okay. And this is looking very, very good. Looks good. So now we're going to go into a sh uh, like right here. And then above here also as well. So I want to... Oh, and look something like this. This is the same um, makeup set that I'm using. The purple, you know, this is what I'm using today. Purple vibes today. My shirt's not purple, but I'm using. I'm just using a palette with like the purple and pinks in it, and the browns are super pretty. This would be good for Valentine's Day or any occasion or any time that you want to use this palette. It'd be super, super pretty. 
I'm just gonna use a little bit of it's like a gold, it's called copper fun. I'm gonna apply it like right here. Wow, that definitely woke up my eyes. It's called Copper Fun. Very, very pretty. Very pretty palette. Um, palette. I definitely really like this look. It definitely, it's sticking out. And, well, I just want to also make sure if you have, like, if you want to use a color that goes in the corner, you can pull it up a little bit more with the brush. So you can definitely use that. You can definitely use the bottom look too also as well. So we're going to take the same brush that we use for the copper. Put use this, you know, for underneath. I'm going to use that a uh, vulnerable color at the bottom if you can see it. I hope you can see it. But there's sometimes it'll look good on me sometimes. It won't, but it, like I said, if you're lighter than me, you can definitely um, have that bottom look of the same eyeshadow that you use to your, you can add it on to your bottom eyelids if you want. So it's coming out. Okay, so you got to just press a little hard sometimes in order to get it really, get this on here. But like, like if you're lighter than me or whichever, you can definitely use it. If you uh, if you're in my sh uh, my skin tone or darker than me, you don't have to use it. Put the eyeshadow here at the bottom of your eyelids. You don't have to do that. I just want to just you know give you a full effect of how it'll look. And you can definitely use like a eyeliner for the um for the for your eyeliner. You can definitely use that black. You can use blue. Very pretty so also as well. And then of course you can definitely. Um, apply some falsies to your eye you know to your eyelids definitely that'd be super pretty so we're gonna go into let's see it's called Nirvana I'm saying it right I hope Nirvana N-I-R-V-A-N-A -A. just gonna use that like right up here another copper type of color go like right there we're not gonna, we're not gonna go push it too, too hard. Oh, that looks pretty. You can definitely, definitely put a little bit underneath your eyebrow. You can definitely um smooth it out also as well. If you want this, look, this looks pretty good. Don't look. Good. Except, you know, but, you know, but hey, you know, you learn from your mistakes. You learn from mistakes because I do. So, now we are done with this palette. So, I'm done with the eye look. I'm going to put this back. And you can definitely use, um, put some falsies on with this. Let the eye, let the, let the eye glue definitely wait a, you know wait a few seconds like 30 to 60 seconds and make sure you definitely go onto those two websites to www.shopcherry.com www.beautycreations.com for this palette it's called Bella Forever and this is just super pretty I mean the colors oh wow I mean like look it comes with the mirror and these colors will be so pretty on any shade of skin tone that you are. As you can tell with my skin tone. So you can definitely can see it, you know, but not as much. But I, I do have my ring light on. So I usually like to do my looks at night. But I just got off work. I wanted to, you know, to show you now so you can see like in somewhat in a natural light. So you can really, really see it. So that is that. And... I'm going to just apply my mascara from the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational. This one, the Sky High one, which I really do like this um, mascara. It's very good if you want to just, you know, put this onto your own lashes. You definitely can. Definitely make sure that you use a eyelash curler before you apply any 
of your mascara of what it what's your favorite you know you can definitely make sure you do that You see, I see that. I know, right? I know. I'm gonna tell you, I'm supposed to do this a little. Okay. Definitely the heaven swipe it off. Okay. All right. That is the finished product of what I've done to my face and to my eyelids. I hope you definitely liked liked the eyeshadow palette um definitely get it i'm telling you you will not be disappointed you will love this palette it's very unique and different this is called the bella forever 16 color eyeshadow palette for under 20 dollars, and it does last for 24 months so which i recently just got this last year um starting like december um, December before Christmas time. That's what I wanted to give myself just a few more like eyeshadow palettes and what I used for my face was The AOA studio pop all foundation full coverage foundation. This is in the um, Cappuccino and 0380 is what I use for my face and then the concealer I used was the El Maquillage concealer and this is in 14.5 because F, I'm fabulous. I can't say the word, word, but it's F, I'm fabulous. Make sure you definitely get this concealer. And and I use another concealer as well. This is a nutmeg. It's a very good, I love it. It's, it's a very good um, brand. AOA, I really do like AOA Studio um, foundations, concealers. I really do like it. And it was like a dollar fifty-five. And then for my face primer, I definitely use the Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. I'll definitely use it again. This is AOA0238. And this was just one dollar. This this is a very good thing to have, you know, the hydration, extra hydration for your face because it's still summertime, and you definitely want to make sure that you have a face primer that's hydrating for your face, you know. If a, and then fossil for the winter time also as well too. Definitely make sure you use that. And then I use the Jelly Jam by AOA Studio Lip Mask in Honey. This was like a dollar and either fifty five a dollar fifty five to a dollar eighty eight. And then for my eyebrows, I use my two main favorite ones that I really do like, which is from Wet n Wild the Seema Brown in A six zero three definitely check out your local walmart maybe target um and definitely uh yes walmart target or well, i don't know about target but just try you know you can always call or look it up online and then go to five and below if you have a five below in your area definitely check that out and then this is from the b supply store which is like a dollar like a dollar 99 if, if they have this brand or definitely check out your family dollar dollar general for a dollar fifty for this brand and yes um then the brush that i use for my eyebrows which is just a small individual uh, angled eyebrow for my eyebrows i use this for my my upper my lower concealer and my upper concealer and that's what i use for my face and i told you about the mascara Oh, and this is the one thing that I definitely, it's in my favorites. I, I'm going to do a video, but I'm going to do a, a video of what, like, what's my favorite beauty products that I love to use. This will be definitely included in it. I cannot talk about this enough. This is the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. But I use this. It has certified fair trade 
made with organic oils. So I definitely use this for cleaning my brushes, my makeup brushes. It works, it comes out like that within less than a minute. I really do like this brand. I cannot talk about enough about this brand. And I definitely got this at Target for $10.98. Or you can definitely check out your local Walmart as well for either $10.98 or like $11.98. But they do have this size. This was the 16 fluid ounce at Target. You can definitely try to see if they have the bigger size. The one that's, I want to say, either 28 or 32 ounce um, for $15.98 at Target. And I believe also at Walmart for 28 to 32 ounces. It could be a little bit more, $3 more at your local Walmart. But definitely check out both stores, you know, so that we can look also online if you want like it online. You want to shop in the stores, be near people if, you know, if you're, you know, still afraid of the, of the COVID-19. I can definitely understand that, you know, the, definitely in, you know, retail stores and uh, definitely in grocery stores, you know. There are people definitely sure, they are definitely for sure still, you know, not like leery, you know, because it's still the COVID-19. I completely understand. So, oh, for my face that I need to spray, it's the Wet n Wild BFF. Best Friends Forever Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist. I'm going to apply this noun. And this is how it sprays like that. So, definitely, definitely make sure you have a primer onto your face and also a, uh, a mist also as well. And this is the end of the look and the video. Please stay safe, everybody. God bless you. And if you hit the subscribe button, Make sure that you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you definitely turn on your notification bell so when I upload from the beauty room, you'll know and you won't miss any videos of new videos that I've done so far. So, God bless you. Please stay safe out there and definitely stay encouraged. Dream big to the sky with your dreams and goals with positivity. Positivity is definitely in the air for all of us. Because we are going through this journey together with the beauty room and the growth with the beauty room. So thank you all so much. If you already subscribed, God bless you. And welcome to the beauty room. And hopefully one day, someday I'll get to see you all as a meet and greet. So that's what I'm praying for. The success for not just my YouTube channel, but for many, many others. That's um, hope that I'm inspiring you all. It's someone out there. I pray that I am because each and every day that I do a video or think about a video, Trust me, I, you all inspire me so much to continue to stay on with this journey, with YouTube, with the beauty room. And God bless you all. Thank you so much for who you are and what you are in the world. I appreciate you. I love you there and back. <laughs> so please stay safe and stay encouraged. Dream big. And never give up. And kids, pay attention to your mom and dad. You know, respect them. Definitely respect your teachers while you're in school and class. And if you start school at the end of this month, God bless you. Please stay safe, stay encouraged. And I'll keep continuing to pray, praying for you all. You're going back to school, starting a new school or new journey or moving to a different city or state, you know, with the family. And God bless you all. I'll see you next video, okay? Bye-bye.